Hello everyone, I would like to start this uh, international webinar with a special code that is uh, success usually come to those who are too busy to be looking for it. I do repeat, success usually come to those who are too busy to be looking for it. So starting a new chapter, I Abhishek Kumar being your host for the event, want to extend a very warm welcome and very good morning to all of you present here and I hope you all are doing um, amazing. So on the behalf of the whole SEMS family, I'll welcome you all on this international webinar on the topic creative gen journaling and to add our guest of honor and uh, our speaker, Miss Himali Zaviri ma'am. Ma'am, it's a great honor to have you with us and we are very much thankful for your presence. As I can see, uh, quite a number of people are joining us so uh, let me introduce our speaker to you all uh, miss himali zaviri who is a life coach and passion in date artist himali has completed her bachelor's in english literature and bachelor's in fine arts from renaud institute of sir jj school of arts and also hold a master degree in the arts and humanities apart from her education background Himali was always interested in the study of the human behavior, which leads her to carry many studies which were her own research practices. She uh, also considered her mission in the life is to make everyone see beauty around them. And she also loves helping people to attain their uh, transformation for, for themselves whereby they can start seeing their own potential and start unlocking uh, the secret of happiness that they can create for themselves and lots more. Hello, everyone. And I'm uh, really deeply very thankful to Abhishe for giving me such a wonderful introduction. Also, I am uh, very, very impressed with the amount of work your welfare has been doing and the kind of uh, quality of life uh, you know you have been giving to people is uh, I really admire it and I'm very honored that you've given me this opportunity today to become a part of it and help many individuals. Uh, part of it has also been my mission in life. So I'm happy uh, to join you guys today for this. So thank you for giving me this opportunity, Abhishek, and to also the Sims uh, welfare community here. Yeah. So journaling actually is a way of living. Uh, what I highly encourage uh, everyone of everyone here to do is start uh, taking this into your daily rituals. Make it a part of your living, and you'll start seeing the results of it in your life. Uh, in a way that it, you will start gaining clarity, which is much needed for you to live your best esteemed life that you wish to. So why should one practice creative journaling? It has many benefits, uh, including it gives you a uh, clarity of thought. It makes you start understanding your behavior patterns. You start uh, getting, a, you know, calmness in your life, you are you build resilience and many such good qualities. And up above all in today's world, when stress is the biggest problem uh, people are facing, it gives you a time to sit with your own self and also at times just, you know, throw up all that is going in your mind and find that connection with your own self. So let's explore. Yes, so I am an artist um, by profession. And one of the biggest things that I started exploring in life much later was self-exploration through journaling. And that's why I decided that this is something that I want to spread a message to people. And, you know, they must learn these things in life that can help them. There are, these are simple things in life that we can, you know, accommodate in our living. And it can start showing results if we are indulging in it regularly. So it's a bank of ideas where you can express yourself. You can also uh, engage in creative activities, your creative ideas. Um, and the best thing is that this is a tool to practice self-love, right? So many of you will not be aware of what is self-love. Self-love is when you start showing appreciation for yourself by giving time to yourself, taking care of your body, mind and soul. And this thing is very easily attained through journaling. Part of the problem in life that we all as adults face is we don't know where you want to go in life. We don't know what we want to achieve in life. We are in general living um, things out of like, you know, 
daily mundane activities repeating the same th- same things again and again and not reaching those goals that we really want to in our life it's very easy to you know throw away our dreams unless we start putting them in format if you are formatting your dreams on a piece of paper and you're revisiting that paper regularly it's absolutely difficult to throw away them you will not be able to give away the idea if you're reflecting into your journal daily if you're writing your goals aspirations every day it starts bring you know building that muscle in you that you want to and it prepares you to achieve things that you really want to so let's make this webinar a two way communication let's keep it interactive i would love for you to start writing uh, things in the chat box while i'm talking to you also it will be really nice if you have a piece of pen and paper with you so i'll just give you a quickly 5 to 10 seconds just go and grab a piece of paper and pen and while i'm making you do these things i would insist that you start indulging in the activity itself so you may uh, you know try to write oh, the mommy. questions i'm sending abhishek that was a huge yawn thank you <laughs> so the problem is most of us don't know what do we want in life what do you want to become what do you want to do what do you want to have and what do you want to give to the world around you if you spend 5 and minutes daily trying to answer these simple questions you start gaining clarity of what you want for the day it's important as humans to build a why within us why we want to do a certain thing why you want to work hard to throw up that weight that you've been carrying on in your bodies in your mind in your soul why you want to gain wealth or why you want to you know contribute to the world and there's so many things that we as adults face on daily basis these questions which we don't address they come in our self talk and we tend to not listen to them or we over listen to them building that self sabotage muscle that eventually starts hurting us deeply so how do you solve this problem by the simple way of journaling if you start designing your why in the early hours of your uh, life like in the morning hours if you sit for 5 to 10 minutes and answer this question to yourself every day you start seeing a change in you for example i had a question in my life that what do i want to do so is it okay if i share a little bit about my st- uh, story here yeah can you, can can you give me permission for that please uh, send me a yes uh, in the chat box yes ma'am you can do it ma'am thank you thank you so um i have been an artist for my most of my life and until a really you know bad incident happened with me and i lost my eyesight due to early cataract and it took me like a storm in my life and i was not able to process this information correctly i entered into a self sabotage zone i st- my self talk was completely negative all the time and i couldn't deal with the circumstances because i couldn't do most of the things that i used to do daily because losing my vision was a big problem my doctors had to say that i cannot be operated early on because it's a very premature cataract and they wanted it to grow to its full form and i was too young for the operation so this led me into a long journey of negative self lost uh, self talk and i lost all the muscles that i had built for my journey for myself to grow myself to upscale myself all my visions and dreams i kept seeing them going on in for a crash my daily mundane activities were difficult for me and i spent a good 6 years of my life as such when i had like you know the daily simple activities were difficult for me what happened over time was i didn't realize that my own self talk got me so demotivated that when i was finally operated it was difficult for me to even understand that what do i want next in my life that's when i myself took up journaling as a daily habit and i started seeing the benefits of it over time i started gaining clarity of what i really wanted and one of the biggest things that i wanted was to give to contribute in the lives of many much and beyond my family members so apart from doing things for my family members my two boys i started seeking connections with people more than my near vincent families i wanted to spread joy happiness to many i decided to become a life coach i learned from many 
places to understand what are the secrets of life and how one for themselves become the person who you know become the biggest hindrance in the lives i mean in their own lives so today i am very happy to tell you that i am doing all that i really wanted to and i have got all of this achieved through the simple activity of journaling and achieving clarity for what i wanted so right so this is something for you to understand that psychologist michael norm says that the adult brain needs un- to understand why it is important to learn something okay why is it important to engage in any activity or task before they decide to it's important for us to understand why we are doing things understanding our own why helps us build our own self concept it helps us build our motivation it helps us organize our learning it helps us to stay focused it helps us to stay engaged in the activity for long today distraction is the biggest enemy of our times because uh, we see so much of social media and everything has the the problem is that we are not able to engage ourselves for long so journaling can be something if taken seriously can help you build all these muscles in your life so i invite you to find your why by asking meaningful questions to yourself when you enter your own journals when you engage with your own journals so as i said that i had entered myself into a self sabotage zone and i didn't realize this for a long time i my negative talk kept pushing me away from the things that i really wanted to do in many which ways i was conditioning myself to not do things most of us don't realize this happening in our lives so by simply changing the way we perceive process and proceed in our life we can change this attitude we we'll start doing things that we really want to so instead of having a fixed mindset for why we don't want to do things we start building the wise for why we want to do things let me tell you challenges challenges are normal for everyone in life but it's important to understand that growth can come to you only by choice so the day you sit down with yourself and start building your wise for why you want to grow why you want to do what you want to do why you want to be with certain people that you want to be with why you want to engage in certain activities why for so many things that in our lives is very important for an adult to understand before we engage in activities all right so we are all aware that our brain is said to be divided into two parts the logical left and the creative right while i feel that it's really important that we we use both the sides very um engagingly well in our lives but it's really important to also understand that the most of the solutions in our life are going to come from our creative side of the brain when you start looking for solutions in life in a very creative way they are more easily to be processed and then you will go with the flow okay so however studies show that journaling is a more effective practice it helps to execute both the sides of the brain very effectively for example if you are trying to lose weight you might want to build a ha- you know make a habit tracker for it and see how well you can stay consistent at this task whereas the creative side of the brain is how you are finding solutions for what you want to do in life and how you can program yourself to build those solutions here are some of the benefits of journaling improves self confidence and self esteem gives you great clarity and helps you set goals it improves relationships and communications boosts creativity and problem solving we're going to dive in deep to all these topics a little bit when we'll engage in the exercise so i invite you to i hope you have your papers and pens ready some of the areas that we'll focus on is self growth through understanding how and what your intelligence is what is your state of mind all the time when you start writing this daily ask yourself this question that which state of mind are you living in are you living in a good state or an average state these questions are very self reflective uh, questions that you can build and you can uh, engage yourself in it helps you understand your emotions very well and why you need to understand your emotions 
because most of the emotions are coming from the self beliefs that you're holding for yourself when you start processing that and you start understanding your self beliefs well you'll be able to center your actions as the way you want your life to turn into also i have noticed that building small stories around the communications you have had with the people help you to understand how you can have your next con- communication with the same person more fruitfully you can design it in your mind beforehand before you engage with the person next time trust me this is very fruitful if you do it in a general basis it gives you an upper hand sometimes in their communication and you are more probable to put yourself uh, in a more positive way or even to understand how you're making boundaries with that person above all most of the times we are distracted in today's world and we are not able to gain that productivity that we always wanted so many times in our day that we could be living and we feel that you know we just passed by the day and we didn't understand uh, when we lost the track of the first thing that we really wanted to do in the night uh, day what was your priority of the day and we miss out on that so how do you deal with this problem by simply putting the first three most important task of the day in the morning in your journal and keeping your journal on your desk all the time can help you stay engaged and it is it will be like a visual reminder for yourself of how you want to stay on track right of course there are many benefits uh, if you start understanding that you can um record how many glasses of water you're drinking in a day how well you are you know providing the nutrition to your body you can start doodling small things in your journal of the things that you ate that have nurtured you that has helped you and also the things that you shouldn't be eating so these health benefits can go long if you keep a track of it i generally indulge in this activity by drawing small things uh, in my journal but however it's not very essential for everyone to draw just because i like it i do it um, most of you can just probably use colorful pens and paper you know in uh, your journal and just write with colorful pens it gives you a good reminder of what you're doing and how you're taking uh, your health seriously or not in life all right so as i said building your why is very important for understanding why we as adults want to indulge in a certain learnings you know the way you decide to learn is exactly going to help you how you're going to earn so if you want to earn it's very important to learn so building your why for this is very very important and you start jotting down the reasons jotting down the motivations that you need in life to learn a certain thing so so that you can grow yourself better right learning is not an activity which is just confined to our early years of life become a lifelong learner for your own self growth all the time all right these are some other additional benefits so it helps you finding new hobbies and interests and improves your memory and problem solving skills track your personal growth and achieve your goals embrace curiosity and open mindedness engage in activities outside your comfort zone promotes idea exploration and brainstorming turning setbacks into opportunities for self growth how many times have you dealt with a certain situation in your life and you didn't know how to process it if you start writing your own history in life and you start understanding why you behaved a certain way at that time or why uh, that a certain person was not able to engage with you correctly why did you enter into disputes a lot of why's will unfold the problems of your life and you'll be able to unlock the good good reasons that are needed for you to pursue all right so what do you need to start your journaling activity is usually uh, i would recommend hard books because they are easy uh, to write even if you want to sit down somewhere on your lap and just engage in this activity so hard cover books are recommended any book that is ruled is also recommended because it helps you give a good organization while you're writing things plain paper for few works well if you are the kind of a doodler who wants to write uh, make small bubbles on the paper and you know have sections which are more creative so it's completely up to you of course 
but i would recommend that you resort to more handwritten journaling because it benefits you by not losing the data digital journals can have a problem of you know losing data and you might be left uh, you know in the zone that you feel that all your energy was wasted so i recommend keeping hard copies personally i have done loads of journaling i want to tell you like this is a set of just a simple set of books that i have wrote over years all completely full of uh, pages about you know i became like a historian of my own life and i started unfolding each and every chapter of my life and trying to understand that why i'm feeling the certain way that i was feeling at that time of my life and why i was not able to do the certain things that i wanted to do even though i really desired so part of when when you start writing your history you start understanding how you have got conditioned for a certain things in your life which you might even not be aware of and when you start unlocking those things you start understanding why 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 what happened what happened for the reason they happened for okay and when you step into that awareness awareness leads you to empowerment you start understanding things from the, that awareness and you yourself will be able to um, unfold the things that you want in your future so creative uh, journaling allows you to explore the depths of your mind unleash your inner creative creativity leading to more fulfilling and meaningful ways of living a uh, mind map is a very beautiful tool that i have also used because it's it helps you organize uh, in a way that what next what next what next and if you need something then what all things you need with it so you can actually make uh, you know columns and columns and folders and folders of how you want to process and organize your entire wants and the slice and everything okay so another thing uh, that i highly recommend is start and making your journal the place of your vision start creating your vision board over there when we as humans are seeking for certain goals in life we need to create a vision for the goal before we start to you know go for it so start imagining yourself doing those things when you start preparing uh, yourself with that vision you'll be able to process this information much better and you'll be able to stick to your goals much more better in a more organized way so collect pictures of what you want to do also find out ways uh, what you want to do know exactly when you want to do and things like that affirmations are very important for us to understand that how to convert your negative self talk into positive so saying kind words to your own self appreciating your own self in a more positive way and writing sentences that you feel you can adapt for your present self how amazing i am when i do a certain things what matters to me and why i want to do it are very important things that you can address in your journal design it make it more fun for yourself every day uh, i know doing this every day can be boring so i insist that even if you engage with your journal for three times in a week is more than enough for you to stay on track for where you're going in life so let's engage in this activity try to answer these questions right now for yourself right so what do you want to be write a few sentences of what you want to be next in your life or what you want to be now in your life and try to answer this so viewers uh, if you can engage with me it will be really great you can write down a couple of sentences in the chat if you wish i can uh, address to you for that what should you prioritize first in your life to be that you see when we start to understand that we want to achieve something we need to tell this to our brain the minute we tell this to our brain it can actually set a channel for you by which it will prioritize for you in and the answers will come to you directly that if i want to do this the first thing that i want and i should be doing is this so start putting three three things that you need to prioritize every day to become that you want to be as i said that to improve your learnings it's important to understand your why and one of the important things is how you want to improve yourself okay so again if you sit down and write three things that you need to do every day to improve yourself suppose if i want to improve myself for 
being consistent to the gym, then what can I do for that? Simple things like maybe, uh, you know, answers can come to you that, okay, I need to keep my uh, gym clothes ready before I go to bed at night. Uh, I need to keep my gym bottle ready and I need to have my tracks and uh, shoes ready. Uh, when I get up, I should be seeing them directly. So you create visual reminders for yourself. Such things can help you being consistent. What should I do? Uh, and what should I not do? I think most of the times we keep thinking, I want to do this, I want to do that. But we are not understanding that before we set yourself on certain goals, we need to also unlearn a few things. Unlearning a few things is really important because we have set ourselves into vicious patterns of life and we're constantly doing things that we should not be doing. So what if you start building your muscles strong for that? What if you start keeping a habit tracker for that? That, okay, from today, now onwards, I'm going to cut down all the things that have high sugar levels in it or high calorie levels in it. And you keep a habit tracker for that in your life and mark yourself a tick for it every day. Suppose you give yourself a sticker on that habit tracker every day and simple creative fun ways can help you stay in on target for your own personal goals, right? Which new habit should I create to make myself better in life? Uh, since I'm addressing this common problem today of you know not being able to stay consistent at the gym let's think that uh, the habit that i need to create is um, you know wearing my watch um, you know the watch that i wear to count my steps to set my uh, exercise goals you know something like this can also become a very simple thing that i note today and it gives me an understanding that i need to be consistent in wearing my watch and looking into it for you know that uh, motivation every day to stay consistent for this goal that I am preparing myself for to lose weight or to gain muscles or fitness whatever it is for you all right and what should I learn to earn now for example for this particular goal of uh, losing weight what do I need to learn Okay, so I need to understand what are the benefits I can get from eating a certain kind of foods and I start resorting myself more towards those foods and how I can create a shopping list for it so that uh, I uh, bring have those things on my table every day. How can I uh, not do means how can I throw away the things uh, that are uh, keeping me off track from, you know, this goal of um, losing weight for example we are eating the foods that we should not be eating so uh, maybe I decide to in my journal I decide to, I'm going to throw away all those foods that are uh, you know keeping me off this target in my life all right few more questions yeah if you really get to live your dream life how will it look like have you ever questioned yourself with this it's a beautiful question you know Putting very appropriate prompts for yourself every day is also very important. There are lots of prompts available on the internet. You can search them and engage in certain prompts. Um, have you thought of this? That where you are, why you are and where you want to be in your life. What is your dream life like? And how will it look like? What will be the best version of you? Um, viewers, are you writing these questions uh, if not, then take a screenshot of this um, slide and you'll be able to engage in this later whenever you want. Ask these questions to yourself. What will the best version of yourself look like? How will, will you be dressing in? Suppose if you are seeking to earn a lot of money and, you know, gain a lot of wealth, then are you dressed up for it correctly? Are you putting yourself for it correctly? Are you presenting yourself as such that, you know, you see yourself like earning that kind of money and how would you be at that time? This question is very vital. It makes you understand that if you want to become a millionaire today, what is it that you need to do? How should you look like? Are you dressing up for it correctly? Are you behaving correctly? Do you have the knowledge to deal with that kind of money correctly? How are you going to invest that money if you... So when you start answering these questions and prepare yourself for these questions, the law of attraction also starts working. 
what you are seeking in life, what you're putting yourself in focus in life for is bound to grow and it's bound to come back to you as per law of attraction. So this journaling activity helps you build that muscle as well. How will you behave then? As I said, uh, have you ever thought that if you start addressing your life and start designing it the way it should look next week, the way it should look next month, the way it should look next year or maybe three years from now or maybe 10 years from now, have you ever thought of this? Putting a vision for yourself as such daily in small columns or in small colorful notes will set reminders for your own self. And you can go back to these journals and understand your own dreams much more well. You will be able to process your dreams much more well and you'll be able to attain them for sure if you're doing these things. So when I uh, started journaling, it was back in 2019 and I started understanding there's so many things I wanted to do that was much beyond me, as I said. And then I started asking questions that how can I find these people that I want to make a difference in? Much of the answers came that I wanted to become a life coach and help me. Uh, this this will help me come in contact with the people who really want to improve their lives and unlock their own potential in life, become the best version of themselves. So yeah. Okay, so these are small ways you can create columns in your journal, you know, writing your today's goal, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals. So you can add your to-do list also, everyday to-do list, as I said. And if you keep this to-do list visually with you the entire day on your desk, it will help you stay on target to your goals much better. You will be able to drive off the distractions that are that is the biggest common problem today. Now, try to understand this. Your brain is your best friend. If you give it the right commands, it starts believing you for whatever you are telling it. Suppose if you're telling it that you can't do a certain thing or if you can do a certain thing, it's more likely to believe you for both. If you're telling you, telling your brain that I can do a certain things, it will give you information of what other things that can be done by you so that you drive away from that dream of yourself or from that goal from yourself. Okay, so I can't do this thing. So better I sit and watch Netflix today or better I go for a movie today or better I engage with a friend uh, for some time on a phone and things like that. And you'll be able to deviate yourself from your goal. Your brain actually gives you ideas all the time for what you want to, you know, how you want to do things. Okay, so if you say I want to do this and I can do this, strong affirmative sentences like this in your journal will remind you your brain and it will start giving you information how you can do this. Okay, it will actually pave a path for you entirely of how you can reach that certain goal. But if you decide to not engage in this activity, to not go for that clarity that simple journaling can give you. You probably will be having the same life that you had the past 12 months or the past six months or the past last month, year, whatever. You would be probably be where you are. Okay. And your dreams will be in that box that you've always kept in. So trust me, make this a way of living. Okay. Change is constant, but growth is a choice we need to make. Make this an everyday choice of how you want to grow. All right. Famous people in the world who keep a journal. Here's a list of famous people. Like we know of Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance man. He had invented the most of his uh, inventions were coming from his journal. Being an artist, I used to visit uh, my library in JJ School of Art. And I remember scrolling his books and seeing the beautiful drawings of uh, the early drawings of how a helicopter was done or how the manual machines of uh, spinning yarn and so many inventions of him came uh, from his the ideas that he had crafted in his journal early on. Okay. Also, he he had done great research on the human anatomy and the structure and the science behind it. And all of this, he used to journal. And he was quite a person who used to be a creative in his journaling method. So he used to have all these things done in a way of drawing. So if you are a creative person and drawing comes easily to you, visually putting things uh, on your paper can be very, very uh, beneficial because we all seek for beauty in our life and we love aesthetics. Human brain 
uh, processes aesthetics more uh, lovingly and uh, i think you can try it frida kahlo had always uh, put a journal for herself whereby she processed the way she thought and felt through her journey of life uh, she had various operations in her life and she used to write about how she is feeling all the time and this also reflected in her paintings you know so the the sheer writings turned into uh, the creative output of paintings and the journey was beautiful so uh, of course lady gaga also has a, a journal with her that she carries with her all the time uh, she writes about uh, the her engagement with her mother and the talks and everything that she has had with her and the whole lifetime that she has had with her uh, she loves that and she processes through it and these are very good reminders for herself to stay on target for her own goals jennifer aniston is known to write her journal to for the communication she has with people so whenever she has had a communication with someone and uh, she feels that it didn't go right she would try to put it in her journal and understand that why it didn't go right and what she can do for the next time okay thomas edison also a well known um, scientist and uh, sorry inventor of bulb has always kept a journal so of course you can research today everything is at the tip of finger and you can find out other benefits as well but these are a few from my side to share okay so just as tips to start with there are actually no rules for journaling i have personally kept no rules for myself either i would sometimes uh, resort to my enter uh, my journal daily for months and months and there have been times that i have not been able to do it for like a good stretch of 15 days and then again i get back to it but it has been a very strong data for me to understand that what are my beliefs and where are they coming from okay and according to my beliefs i was always taking the action steps so if you start processing this in your life and understanding your own beliefs your value systems and uh, you know sometimes a chapter of your history will be able, you'll be able to understand that when you were in that zone you were happy and who were the people you were with that made you happy that will make you understand that you want of those people to come back to you or how you can uh, create connection again with them because uh, a connection with them was giving you happiness in your life or also what activities were you doing that time um, also i remember that you know there was a time in my life that uh, i was not going out much of my house because of the small kids with me and i realized that that is something uh, that is putting me off and i started going out much more and that it started giving me happiness for your feelings do not try to process them just throw them let them come the way they are coming to you by the end of it you will reach some self realization visualize your future best self and dump your past in these books uh one thing that i do is um, after i have dumped a certain story of mine and i don't want to engage in it and i want to kill that part of my life i decorate a nice piece of paper and paste it over that story and i write a new story for myself on that particular area and i try to put it in the way that i have learned through that story what i have learned through that story and how that learning i am going to change uh, those failures into something that i'm going to benefit of and how i'm going to make a new me out of those learnings this is really important to understand that our failures are something from where we need to learn we don't need to die because of our failures we can learn from it and grow with it okay write the lessons you have learned from your failures and write a new story for yourself create a habit tracker to stay consistent with daily food and sleeping habits have fun doodling adding pictures and you can help to, you can create records use digital platforms uh digital platforms as i don't recommend much but are sometimes fun so i use ipad as well and uh, sometimes i create a certain thing on my ipad and uh, the best thing i do is i print it out and i put it on my journal and again it becomes a hard copy for me to uh, see again and you know it stays together in that one place that i want to see so yeah you can try that um uh, mind map is very beneficial again i also use a app called mindly for mind uh, map and there are many available you can search on the internet and on the different 
uh, platforms that you know of and uh, i again make a print out copy for of it and put it in my journal it really helps okay so these are a few for you to understand uh, these are some of the things uh, that i have uh, you know put in in my own journal and um, these are the best ways that you can you know do things for yourself as well the feeling of being interested can act as a kind of neurological signal directing us to fruitful areas of inquiry bf skinner said this bf skinner is a human behavior scientist and he through his uh, research had found out that constantly uh, getting reinforcements for a certain behavior makes it more likely for us to redo it okay so what have you been constantly reinforcing yourself for in your life try to unlock those behavior patterns okay maybe bringing an awareness of it can give you more control for your own life so today i encourage you to start taking interest in your life enjoy this technique and this tool of journaling and bringing that holistic development as a fruitful resource of journaling for yourself okay these are some more benefits it's a i just want you to take a minute i'm going to keep this slide up and take 5 minutes uh, right now and write in your journal i hopefully have motivated you to you know process a certain thoughts of yours and if you can take 5 minutes and write a journal i would love to open up the floor for questions after that unlock the behavior patterns you have been engaging yourself what is the new perspective that you can have for yourself today what is the negative self talk you have always engaged yourself with how can you turn that self talk into a positive one for your own self what can you do to improve your focus in life what are the ideas that are coming to yourself daily you know mindless scrolling uh, all the time is actually killing your own creative ideas but if you sit in the form of with your journal and write down your creative ideas you can really make something out of it so thank you for joining me on this journey today of growth and creativity self expression through journaling uh, you can follow me on instagram as himali_zaveri and i've also put in my email address and phone number here i don't know why it is bro- broken up a bit uh thank you ma'am for this uh, wonderful session and i hope our participant learn many new thing from this session ma'am uh, there are some few question uh, which our participants want to know so shall we start sure 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 uh, ma'am uh, one of our participants want to know that uh, list of the challenges uh, in this uh, to start this So uh, the biggest challenge in uh, daily journaling uh, I'm putting it a daily journaling but I myself don't do daily okay. honestly I engage in my journal 3 times a week or two max four times sometimes there have been days I have done it consistently because I start understanding that it's really helping me unlock my own uh, process of thought you know a thought process is very important and there is no other way you can solve this unless you start writing what's coming in your mind the best uh, th- thing to do is uh, you know give yourself a time daily time put a you know timer or put an alarm and okay i need to go back to my journal at this time and just literally sit with it for 10 minutes you know uh, building that consistency muscles only will come uh, when you put you know like a target to it and yeah so of course it gets boring sometimes so i say that engage in creative things in it yeah. you know so that's one way you can put off the challenge like you know suppose you've liked certain thing mm-hmm. suppose you want to shop a certain thing suppose you want to go a certain place and you have a picture of it put in your journal it's yeah. a beautiful way that you remind yourself of the dream that you seek and the things that you're seeking for in your life yeah uh yeah ma'am thank you ma'am Ma'am, the next question is that uh, list of the skill sets re- required for this to start journey. Uh, personally, if you can write, that's the only skill you need. <laughs> if you can draw, which I think we as children have always done, uh, unless we start calling yourself the you know the non-artist ones uh, when you you have someone telling you that you draw hideously, but uh, you know the best part of journaling is that uh, you have. to show it to no one so even if you're an awful uh, you know in your drawing skills you can still engage and uh, you know 
So yeah, there are no skill sets required. The only skill set required is uh, consistency and you know believe in yourself. And if you are seeking that self growth, I think that's a skill set that is required. Are you a seeker for self growth? If you are not, then probably you're not going to engage in this. But if you're seeking self growth. is going to start coming naturally to you yeah yes ma'am thank you ma'am ma the next question is that uh, how can we choose the topic to start on this uh, journaling all right so uh, topics as i said it's all about you you know okay uh, i i had a personally started my journaling uh, through writing the stories of my past okay it it really made me understand that uh, why i actually chose even painting as yeah. a career why i chose to be with certain pe people in my life you know when i started understanding those why through writing the stories of my past mm -hmm. a lot of things started unfolding and it was a beautiful journey that uh, you know gave me a lot of clarity for what i want to be and where i want to go in life mm -hmm. yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I think that there are uh, one or two question in the chat box also, ma'am. Can you just yes, ma uh, see it, ma'am, and just answer that yeah. queries? Hmm. So I have a question like the ten grader. How shall he or she manage time for making a self journal? Like he or she has already will be in stressed up or by the syllabus. How shall be a she manage time? Okay. So. part of the things that uh, as a learner as in uh, you know you can start uh, writing your why is you need to learn you know and also start addressing that certain times of your uh, okay have you ever thought that if you put in your journal the best times uh, that you you could stay focused in you know as humans we we have a biological clock in certain hours of our day we are in high energy and it differs from person to person so for me i'm really high in energy in the morning times and in the afternoons i generally slow down and again i'm in high energy in the evenings mm -hmm. so why don't you start prioritizing uh, your learning times in these slots you know so if you start uh, trying to keep a record in your journal that okay when i study today in the evening i got better results i could Uh, engage in the activity much better i could process and retain the information much better you will be able to understand how you can program your day and manage your time and you will have fruitful results of this mm. yes ma'am uh, yeah ma'am i hope ma'am uh, all our participants has got their uh, answers that they are looking for uh, thank you ma'am for this uh, session that mm -hmm. uh, you have given to us ma'am uh, apart from that i would like to uh, inform you guys that the the engaging person which we have found in this session is uh, it's hal halala faid and it's ankita so congratulations yes. guys yeah ma'am uh i think there's another question here uh, of how to keep your brain engaged yeah. okay 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 for yes, difficult ma task uh, and focus okay. so uh, particularly i think you know start finding areas where you want to focus you know um, if you start answering the why of which part of your life you want to focus you know our life is divided into seven sections basically you know health wealth family fitness finance and uh, also contribution so which part of your life you want to focus more on you know these areas of our life keep uh, going up and down nobody's life is full circle and uh, you know full at all the time so we need to constantly keep striving uh, and understanding that which area of our life went down and we have not been able to focus on it for long suppose you are not focusing on your health for long then you need to start putting that in your journal you know that okay i have not been focusing on my health and what are the ten, top 3 things that i can do next to get focused for my health and how i can improve my health suppose you are a learner and you are not able to stay uh, you know focused on your task completions then can you cre create visual reminders for yourself in your journal can you put a sticky notes on your desktop can you put it next to your bed of you know like some affirmation sentences for yourself you know that okay uh, now i am constantly and continuously engaging into myself into activities that are keeping me focused for my learnings or you know things like that can really benefit you so i hope uh, it's answered most of your questions any more questions i welcome yeah 
guys if you are having any question then you can uh, write in chat box or you can ask here also please do it uh, i would also open the floor for sharing if you have actually engaged yourself in answering any of the questions that i had during the talk i would love for you to share yeah yes ma'am uh, so are you even ready to share ma'am can you just uh, repeat it once more so uh, while i was uh, putting in some prompts uh, on the slides i had asked the viewers to engage themselves into answering mm -hmm. those questions for themselves yeah if you have done it uh, while the session was on i open the floor right now for you to come up and share uh, what are the benefits that you gained out of it ma'am uh, as of now uh, as per if i talk about me uh, then i would like to say that um, the benefits which i get is that to be uh, uh, to be very serious towards your work uh, just do the thing which you thinks that this is right for you and just don't think about uh, others is someone is saying or telling you just do your own so these and, are beautiful affirmations you <laughs> just said right now abhishek if yeah. you are writing this thing in your journal just imagine <laughs> that you are uh, centering your thoughts every day yeah yes right? ma'am and you're yeah. reminding yourself every day of why you want to keep stay focused on yes ma'am you know so it, it yeah. just took you for like one one minute to process this information you wrote out and ready with the answers that's <laughs> all the time you need to also engage in your journal so uh start this beautiful journey of engaging yourself for your own self invest the time in yourself yes ma'am <laughs> yes ma'am i will really uh, follow this ma'am Sure, thank you and i hope it's benefited all of you it was a great honor yes and I, i can make a difference by putting this webinar for all of you yeah thank you ma'am for answering these uh, questions and thank you ma'am for this session thank you so much for having me wishing okay. you all a good day and happy journaling thank you ma'am thank you guys yes and it takes a lot of uh, you know muscle to build yourself and you know it it's very important that you engage in the self growth activities every day and part of it uh, shows the way that you all have come today over here and um, you know being responsible yeah. to yourself and showing up yourself for every time for yourself is very important and thank you for doing that today to everyone who has been here for me today yes ma'am no worries ma'am thank you ma'am ma'am it's a really honor for us also ma'am thank you ma'am thank you good day everyone